Hello everyone, welcome to Odessa Post Live. This is Shraddha. Let's take a look at today's headlines. The health department of the Odessa government has decided to set up dengue ward in all the four community health centers in Bhubaneswar. The Odessa capital has been registering a high number of dengue cases with more than 1,000 reported so far, Health Director Niranjan Mishra said Tuesday in Bhubaneswar. As a result, dengue wards are being opened and blood banks have been asked to keep adequate stock, he added. Odisha has so reported 2,426 cases of dengue this year. Female cop Suridiri Sahu, who has lost both her legs while attempting to die by suicide, has said that she took the extreme step after being allegedly tortured by the wife of senior IPS Brijesh Kumar Rai. However, the senior policeman has denied the charges and has alleged that Sahu was suffering from mental and personal problems. He also refuted allegations of torture and assault. The Orissa High Court cleared Tuesday the appointment of 7,483 nursing officers and said that the state government can go ahead with the process. The recruitment examination was held on March 19 this year. Earlier, a number of the examinees had moved the High Court May 1 demanding preferential treatment. A woman and her male friend were sentenced to life imprisonment Tuesday by a local court in Balasore. The woman Tilotama Das and her accomplice Mitesh Pareda were convicted of murdering the former's husband Jayadeer Das five years back. The CBI has registered a case against GTL Infrastructure Limited and officials of 13 banks including SBI, ICICI, PNB and Access Bank for allegedly causing a loss of over Rs 1,400 crore to the banks, sources said Tuesday in New Delhi. A forensic audit in 2018 by the banks have revealed that substantial amounts given to GTL by the banks have been written off. Police said Tuesday that suspended Delhi government official Premadoy Khaka has repeatedly raped his friend's teen daughter and before each sexual assault, the girl was drugged. They revealed that Khaka raped the victim for the first time in November 2020. Police also said that Khaka, who has been arrested, is not cooperating with the investigation. In its latest update on Chandrayaan 3 soft landing, ISRO said Tuesday that the mission is on schedule and system are undergoing regular checks. Smooth sailing is continuing the mission operations complex at ISRO is buzzed with energy and excitement, ISRO posted on X, formerly Twitter. The latest picture show that Moon is just 70 kilometers away for touchdown. Overriding the Biden administration's appeal, a U.S. court has ordered a stay on the extradition of Pakistani origin Canadian businessman Tahavu Rana to India. The Indian government wants Rana as he is facing trial for his alleged involvement in the 2008 Mumbai terror attack. Cricket legend Sachin Tendulkar will be designated Wednesday as a national icon of the Election Commission to encourage greater voter participation in the electoral process. A memorandum of understanding for three years will be signed between Tendulkar and the poll panel before the announcement Wednesday in New Delhi. That's all for today's headlines. Stay tuned to Odessa Post Live for more such updates.